song was an event that came about because I think for us, we are a songwriter organization and so much of what happens in the music business is behind the scenes and these guys who write these songs, some of them sometimes are on the stage, a lot of times they're guys like Hop or Oak or uh, Gamble Hop, people you don't necessarily know, but they are the heart, they're the, the heartbeat of the music industry. Songwriters, I like to say, are the architects of the recordings that you fall in love with and can't seem to get out of your head. And to hear what was the motivation or inspiration during the creative process of these songwriters is priceless. So you guys should be in for a treat today. The people I'm about to bring on this stage are not only hit makers of today, but they're also Grammy nominated and Grammy award winning. So clap it up for that. <laughs> not to mention they're also from our city, our hometown, Philly. So make some noise for that as well. I'm going to keep talking. I'm about to bring our first set of panelists to the stage. They go by the name of the Fat Boys, Butter, Gravy, and Pistol. Changes. We like making sure that it's like a fat sound. And we also like also putting in um, hard beats and hard hitting drums. So we're like, all right, we're going to go with Fat Boys. Us as producers, we want to say, oh man, we want to add this, we want to do this, that, and the other. Make it fat. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Miguel knows what he wants. So I think that's the record. Uh, we, we've been blessed to pretty much work with um, so many people. Uh, um, 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 Chris Brown. Chris Brown, Usher, Nicki yeah, Minaj, Big Sean, Elvana, Wiz Khalifa, Rihanna, Eminem, Drake, <laughs> Trey Songs, uh, Alicia Keys. Um, <laughs> Everybody, right? <laughs> we blessed. And then she goes in the booth, right? And let me remind everybody, it's, it's Alicia Keys that I'm talking about right now, right? So she goes in there, and the lights are all dim, and it's like super sexy at that moment, and she's in there just breathing all hard on the mic and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and right there, my wife calls me. Right? <laughs> I pick up the phone. What are you doing right now? Oh, you know, me and the homies just hanging out. Like, the vibe in the studio was so dope that at that moment, I felt like I was doing something wrong. <laughs> so, so, you know, that's one of those situations where I feel like the energy of the session imparted its way into the music. And hopefully, you know, people that listen to it afterwards felt the same thing. You know what I mean? I hope, uh, I hope we, you know, help boost the population a little bit with that song. <laughs> hit-making building. And when we talk about the history of American music, we must acknowledge the contributions of the music made here at Sigma Sound Studios. Remember, a lot of the songs that have come out of this city are classics today. Not this one song, but every songwriter writes differently. Sometimes I'll finish the track, finish everything, I have the melody, and I won't do the lyrics until we're actually laying it down. So I had just flown in from Europe. We went in that night, she had two nights off. And I decided I wanted to write the lyrics right there. So as she's finishing one verse, the next verse comes up. And it's just a juicy for me. That's what hit me. These gentlemen have been together 50 years as partners. Billy Paul, uh, I've heard a couple people do this, but Billy Paul had, had, had a certain sound in his voice. You know? And, um, He's unusual, but I knew, I knew me and Mrs. Jones was a hit. When we recorded it with Billy, there used to be a club around the corner here called uh, uh, The First Nighter or something like that. And, and so Billy, he said, he was told the audience and I had a nice crowd in there. He said, uh, I just recorded a song called Me and Mrs. Jones. I'm going to sing it for y'all. Nobody had ever heard it. And he turned the joint out. The people, the people said, do it again, do it again. I said, oh, but we got a big hit. <laughs> 